The first is pure gum spirits of turpentine, a product that's been used since the beginning of oil painting for a variety of purposes. It's derived from the sap of pine trees. It's a premium solvent, which means that it will dissolve the oil in oil paint so that it breaks apart, losing its adhesive qualities. For this reason, many painters will use it to clean their brushes during their painting session. Here's the question. If turpentine is a solvent, what does that mean for the archival quality of the painting if it is intentionally added to the paint that's applied to the canvas? Some painters use only turpentine to thin their paints. The answer is the paint that's diluted with turpentine does not have the adhering qualities that will make it stick to the canvas surface permanently as compared to using the paint without turpentine added to it. So this must be a bad thing, right? Not necessarily. Sometimes a painter wants to paint in a method that allows a position of retreat in case he changes his mind about where something is placed in the composition. Let me illustrate. A drawing can be done in paint rather than pencil or charcoal, more cleanly and quickly with paint diluted greatly with turpentine. If you want to change the position of the drawing, it's so easy to wipe it off with a rag and redraw with a thin layer of paint. The upside to this is that when the drawing has dried, it's not permanent. Why? because the adhesive quality of the paint has been compromised by the use of turpentine. And while it looks and feels dry, it can be re removed by using more turpentine. This is a drawing that was done previously and allowed to dry overnight. See how I can still scrub off the layer of paint without too much effort. In complex drawings on large canvases, sometimes you want to give the painting a rest overnight to see it with a fresh eye in the light of a new day. That's when you may catch errors in composition, design, perspective, or a number of other problems that you want to correct before applying more color. Having the painted drawing applied with a non-permanent medium is a great advantage to the painter who makes mistakes and wishes to correct them. For a drawing or painting that has used turpentine as a medium to be archivally sound, the final paint layers must contain oil with no turpentine added. This will ensure a permanent film of paint that will adhere to the canvas surface for the life of the painting, perhaps as long as 500 years. This means if you use turpentine as your medium, that you must also add a layer of pure paint or another oil-based medium to cover the paint layer that was applied with turpentine. Painters have for centuries mixed their own concoctions for more permanent mediums by using various recipes and proportions of three components, pure gum spirits of turpentine, linseed oil, and Damar varnish. The proportions of these ingredients vary by painter, so if you want to make your own permanent painting medium, you might want to experiment with the proportions of the turpentine linseed oil and Damar varnish. The linseed oil and varnish combine to make this painting medium permanent and any paint that is applied with this personalized medium. One final important note. Use caution when using turpentine indoors. Prolonged exposure to the fumes could be hazardous to your health, so you should only use turpentine in a space that is well ventilated with fresh air or outdoors when you're painting in plain air.